Welcome to The Explainer, where we break down the big ideas by going straight to the source. Today, we are talking about a huge shift happening in the world of AI, the move away from just writing prompts and into a whole new world of engineering. Whoa, okay, let's start with that. This isn't just some hot take to get clicks. This is from a CTO who's actually building this stuff in the real world. And it's a huge signal that the way we thought we were supposed to talk to AI, yeah, that's being completely torn down and rebuilt. So here's how we're gonna break it down. We'll start with that initial hype around prompt engineering. Then we'll see where it started to fall apart. From there, we'll map out the new playbook that's defining how you get real serious value out of AI today. So let's rewind just a little bit. It wasn't that long ago that prompt engineering, you know, the art of crafting that perfect sentence for an AI, was being called the essential skill of the future. And you know what? It was. It was like we were all learning a new language, figuring out just the right combination of words to get these models to cooperate. It was a really important first step, but it turns out that conversation had some serious limits. And pretty quickly, companies trying to move this stuff from a cool experiment into a real product, well, they hit a wall. It turns out you can't build a reliable, scalable business just by tweaking a few words in a text box. And that right there is the core of the problem. If the AI doesn't understand your specific products, your customers, your rules, it's just guessing. It's making stuff up. I mean, imagine it confidently telling a customer about a feature you don't have. That's not just an error. That's a huge business risk. This chart just says it all, doesn't it? Take a second and look at these numbers. You've got a massive 78% of companies messing around with Gen AI, but only 10%, just 10, are seeing it actually affect their profits. That enormous gap isn't about the AI's power, it's about our failure to connect it to what a business actually knows and does. So this is the gap we're talking about. It's the difference between the AI generating more stuff versus generating the right stuff. It's that massive canyon between something that sounds plausible and something that's deeply plugged into how your business actually works. So the big question is, how do you fix this? How do we get these models to move from just spitting out generic words to understanding deep, specific knowledge? Well, the next step was to give the AI a lot more than just a clever prompt. It needed context. And two main methods popped up. You can think of RAG as giving the AI an open book test. Right before it answers, it gets to look up the latest, most relevant company documents. Fine tuning, on the other hand, is more like sending the AI to a specialized training course. You teach it the specific jargon and style of your industry, making it way more precise. And what's really fascinating is how even prompting itself got way more sophisticated. Frameworks like Tree of Thoughts basically teach an AI how to reason more like a person. Instead of just going down one path, it explores a bunch of different ideas, figures out which ones are good, and can even back up if it hits a dead end. It's a much smarter way to solve hard problems. But here's the thing. Even these powerful techniques, RAG, fine-tuning, tree of thoughts, they're just tools in the toolbox. The real breakthrough, the thing that separates a cool demo from a system you can bet your business on, is a total mindset shift, away from artistry and towards architecture. This right here is the heart of it. For an AI application to be serious, to be scalable, you can't have a person manually feeding in information every single time. The system itself has to be smart enough to figure out what it needs to know and go get it automatically. And this brings us to the new frontier, automated workflow architecture. It sounds complex, but the idea is simple. You take a big job, like solving a customer's problem, and you break it into tiny, focused, code-driven steps. And at each little step, the system automatically gives the AI the exact piece of information it needs to do its part. No more, no less. So, and this is the crucial part, this means the skill set you need is completely different now. It's less about being a wordsmith and way more about being a systems architect. You have to be able to break down problems, automate data flows, control the AI's focus, and build systems to watch and validate everything it does. This is the perfect way to think about it. Prompt engineering is like having a brilliant intern. They're super smart, but you have to constantly tell them what to do and give them all the context. Architecture is about building the system that turns that intern into a valuable employee who knows where to find information and how to do their job as part of a team. Okay, so let's put all this together. What does this new AI playbook actually look like when you're trying to run intelligent systems at a massive scale? This is where AI stops being a toy and becomes a core part of the business. And just look at this breakdown. Prompting, the thing we all thought was the entire job, it's that little 10% slice. 
The vast majority of the real work is in the architecture, the monitoring, and making sure it's all aligned with the business strategy. Mature teams are now obsessed with something called prompt ROI. Every prompt costs money. It costs time to develop. It costs tokens to run. That cost has to be justified by a real, measurable benefit. In this new world, if you can't prove your prompt's value, you're just wasting money. And they're constantly on the lookout for a sneaky problem called prompt drift. This is like a silent killer for AI systems. The world changes, right? Your customers ask new questions. Your products evolve. If you're not constantly monitoring, your perfectly designed system will slowly become useless over time. And this really raises the stakes. We're not just trying to build something that's efficient. We're trying to build intelligent systems that pay close attention to the details, but are also adaptive. The goal is to create AI that isn't just functional, but is genuinely helpful and reliable. Which leaves us with this final, really critical question. Is your team still just writing prompts and hoping for the best? Or are you starting to architect actual intelligence? Because the answer to that is what's going to separate the companies that get stuck in endless prototypes from the ones that unlock real, scalable value.